Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x to the power 6 plus 1 over x to the power 6 is equal to 110. Our job is to find all possible values of x plus 1 over x. So let's start. This x to the power 6 can be written as x squared whole cube plus 1 divided by this x to the power 6 can be written as x squared whole cubed is equal to 110. Now 1 is same as 1 cubed. So this expression can be written as x squared whole cubed plus 1 over x squared whole cubed is equal to 110. Now by using this uh, algebraic identity a cubed plus uh, b cubed is equal to a plus uh, b times uh, a squared minus a b plus uh, b squared. This expression at the left hand side uh, can be written as uh, x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared times x squared whole squared minus x squared times 1 over x squared plus 1 over x squared whole squared is equal to 110. Next, x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared times, we combine these two terms, uh, x squared whole squared and uh, 1 over x squared whole squared. So this will become x squared whole squared plus uh, 1 over x squared whole squared. This x squared will be cancelled out with this uh, x squared and this will become negative 1 is equal to 110. Now by using this uh, algebraic entry a squared plus uh, b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared minus 2ab. This expression x squared whole squared plus uh, 1 over x squared whole squared can be written as uh, x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared whole squared minus 2 times uh, x squared times uh, 1 over x squared minus this 1 times uh, this expression x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared and all this is equal to 110. Next x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared times uh, x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared whole squared. This uh, x squared will be cancelled out with this x squared and uh, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 1 will become negative 3 and this is equal to 110. Now we suppose that uh, this uh, x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared is equal to t. Let x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared is equal to t. So this equation will become t times t squared minus 3 is equal to 110. We distribute this t. t times t squared will become t cubed and t times negative 3 negative 3 t. Move this uh, 110 to the left hand side, this will become negative 
110 is equal to 0. Now, this is a cubic equation and if we divide this constant 110 by the coefficient of this t cubed 1, if we divide this 110 by 1, we get 110. And the factors of 110 are plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 5, plus minus 10, plus minus 11, plus minus 22 and plus minus 55 and itself plus minus 110. If we check t is equal to 5 in this equation, this will become 5 cubed minus 3 times 5 minus 110 is equal to 0. This 5 cubed is 125 minus 3 times 5, 15 minus 110 is equal to 0. And 125 minus 15 is 110 minus 110 is equal to 0. This is true. It means that T is equal to 5 is a solution. and t minus 5 is a factor of this expression. So, we rewrite this equation as t cubed plus 0 t squared minus 3 times t minus 110 is equal to 0. We use the synthetic division. So, we write the coefficient of this t cubed 1, coefficient of this t squared 0, coefficient of this t negative 3 and this constant negative 110. Since t minus 5 is the factor, so we divide by 5. This one comes down as it is we multiply this one by 5, we get 5 and 5 plus 0 is 5. Now, we multiply this 5 by this 5, we get 25. Negative 3 plus 25 is 22. 22 times this 5, 110. Negative 110 plus 110 is 0. So, the first factor is this uh, t minus 5 times uh, the second factor is uh, 1 t squared plus uh, 5 times t plus uh, 22. Second factor is uh, t squared plus uh, 5 times t plus uh, 22 is equal to 0. And from here, either this expression t minus 5 is equal to 0 or this expression t squared plus 5 times t plus 22 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of t is equal to 5. And from this quadratic equation, we see the discriminant of this equation is less than 0 or greater than 0. Discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. So, this will be equal to b is 5. So, this will become 5 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 22 and 5 squared is 25 minus 4 times 1 times 22 is 88. And 25 minus 88 is equal to negative 63. So, delta is less than 0. It means that no real solutions can be found from this equation. So, we accept only this value of t5. Now, recall that we have supposed We have supposed that uh, x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to t. 
we have supposed that uh, x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared is equal to t. When t is equal to 5, then uh, this equation will become x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared is equal to 5. And this one is same as 1 squared. So, we can rewrite this expression as uh, x squared plus uh, 1 over x whole squared is equal to 5. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity a squared plus uh, b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared minus 2ab. This expression at the left hand side can be written as uh, x plus 1 over x whole squared minus 2 times x times 1 over x is equal to 5. Now, this x will be considered out with this x and we add 2 to both sides of this equation. So, this get cancelled and we are left with x plus 1 over x whole squared is equal to 5 plus 2 7. Now, we take a square root of both sides. And this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we are left with x plus 1 over x is equal to plus minus root 7. This is the required value of x plus 1 over x. This is the final answer of this problem.